Doors with Joan London. The decor is extravagant, the food exquisite, the guest list a who's who of the rich and famous. Join me as we go behind closed doors of what's been called the most magnificent restaurant in the world, New York's legendary Le Cirque. In New York, where trendy restaurants open and close as often as Broadway shows, Le Cirque has maintained a five-star rating since it opened in 1974. The menu? An eclectic French cuisine. The clientele? The most celebrated and powerful from the worlds of politics, business, and entertainment. Five stars. You can't get better than this. Really, everything's very good. Everything is triple A. Yes, perfect. Absolutely love it. This, to me, is what dining is all about. Le Cirque is located in the heart of Midtown Manhattan at one of the best addresses on Madison Avenue. The low-key exterior provides no clue to its show-stopping interior. Occupying the west wing of the historic Palace Hotel, Le Cirque's riot of color, neon, and ceramic monkeys gives you the impression that the most elegant traveling circus has pitched its tent inside a museum. And the ringmaster? Owner Sirio Maccioni. This native Italian has presided over this French restaurant for nearly three decades. One thing is getting to the top, but being one of the best in the world for almost 30 years now, what kind of stress comes along with living up to that expectation? It's very difficult, yes, because sometimes, I think at my age, I don't tell the real, the real age, but I'm over 50. <laughs> and, um, and sometimes, you know, I said, my God, today I wish I didn't have to go. But then after 15 minutes, I said, but I have to go. But when I come in the morning, my wife gave me a, a double espresso, put some <laughs> ice on the head, and I know that I have to come and look positive. Positive is an understatement. Sirio makes it his job to make sure everyone who walks in his restaurant feels like a star. Two years ago, we were supposed to run away together. <laughs> just an exceptionally wonderful host. He's a friend also, he's not just running a restaurant. <laughs> Although it's a multi-million dollar business, Le Cirque is literally a mom and pop operation. Sirio owns the restaurant with his wife and sons, and there's always a member of the Maccioni family on hand. The only way you get to eat with them is to come here, right? Yes, this is our <laughs> corner. It's the family corner. The it's family my corner? official wife. Your official wife yeah. and your exactly. two lovely sons who both are in the same business. I didn't say that they're lovely, but I said that it's my son. <laughs> Sirio, this is the blue room. This is the blue room. Sirio walked me through a rarely seen empty restaurant in between the lunch and dinner rush. Le Cirque has two large dining rooms. The blue room seats 65 people. The bar with its 35-foot high ceiling is located off the lobby and has a monitor that lets guests see what's going on backstage. It's like it's an art form. Yes. Food is an yes. art form. Yes. The second dining room, known as the Red Room, seats another 65 and is rumored to be the power room, the place to see and be seen. Such an amazing building. And now we are walking up into In the, the famous Le Cirque Kitchen. Occupying as much space as the dining rooms combined is this $3 million state-of-the-art kitchen. It is unbelievable. The man in charge, culinary superstar, Chef Pierre Chatelain. Hi, how are you? Chatelain London. Yeah. Very nice to see you. This room handles the hot dishes just before they go out to the guests. There's a separate room for cold appetizers, and three rooms are dedicated solely to desserts. It's really amazing. And I'm told that every now and then that there have been celebrities that you've let come in here and help prepare and go into the kitchen. I think yes. Bill Cosby came in once. Bill Cosby. And now we have uh, the pasta a la Bill Cosby. <laughs> very spicy and very, uh, very good. 
In addition to its kitchen, Le Cirque is also home to an impressive wine collection. The 22-page wine list offers more than 750 selections, ranging in price from $20 to $16,000. Believe it or not, we actually have people that come in and buy these $16,000 bottles of wine. It's a terrible job, but someone has to do it. Most entrees at Le Cirque range in price from $30 to $40, but when you add in appetizers, dessert, and drinks, the tab can easily climb to hundreds of dollars. Le Cirque isn't just high profile, it's high volume. Open seven days a week, they average 200 lunches and 300 dinners every day. For the people who work here, it's a non-stop juggling act. Teamwork uh, is probably the most important thing to get a big crew like that working together, starting with the management all the way down to the waiters, to the dishwasher, to the cooks. Basically, everybody does everything at Le Cirque, and that's what the teamwork is all about here. Next up, we'll take a look behind closed doors at the small army that makes it all happen, from early morning to late at night at this five-star extravaganza. Behind closed doors will continue in a moment here on a and &E. Behind closed doors with Joan London continues here on a and &E. Le Cirque, one of New York's most glamorous restaurants. Every day, behind closed doors, more than 200 workers perform a culinary high-wire act. It's just hard work, day after day after day. A lot of pressure. This is like a fast car, like a Ferrari. <laughs> you go from zero to 300 miles. Every morning, it all starts in the most unglamorous of settings, the loading dock. 6 a.m., the parade of delivery trucks begins as the ingredients for today's gourmet menu arrive. Every item is checked in and carefully examined. We have the figs, jumbo shrimps, ginger, tuna, yellow zucchinis, Besides getting the very best of familiar things, they stock up on the exotic, like these baby white eggplants. And most of what you see here is expensive. Basically, we spend between twelve to fifteen thousand uh, dollars in food, uh, food only, every single day. That can add up to more than four million dollars a year. One and a half million is spent on seafood alone. Oh, and that nice fish. Anything less than perfect is sent back. Can you see this? It's not nice. It's not so nice. It's not room. No nice color, no red color. So I gotta return it to be replaced. 7 a.m. This world-class food factory kicks into high gear as kitchen staffers arrive and head to their various stations. Here, vegetables are chopped non-stop for seven hours a day. At the next table, fish are being scaled, deboned, and filleted. More than 75 pounds of poultry are cut up here. At the meat station, they'll prep at least 300 pounds of beef, pork, and veal. Specially ordered bones go over here. They're used to make the 300 gallons of soup stock that Le Cirque goes through daily. 7.30 a.m., the pastry chefs start to mix, blend, whip, dip, pour, and sprinkle as they prepare a wide assortment of decadent dessert offerings, including Le Cirque's signature creme brulee. The word low fat isn't part of their vocabulary. Chocolate gets a room all to itself, where 30 gallons of this perfectly melted confection are ready at a moment's notice to make whatever the pastry chef dreams up. 10 a.m., executive chef Pierre Chatelain arrives, takes a quick inventory of what's been delivered that morning, and starts creating a menu for today's specials. After giving instructions to his staff, we have the shrimp, we do tempura, you know, and a batter. He personally accepts the delivery of one of the most expensive delicacies in the world, 
the white truffle. I have what you want. White truffle is certainly one of the rarest uh, produce you can find on the, on the market. How much are they, the pound? They're 1,500 a pound. <laughs> you told me 1,400 before. They went up just a little bit. Yeah, I'm sure they have a better price than that, huh? Of that course. Right? Prized by chefs for their unique flavor, white truffles are a rare type of mushroom from Italy that grow underground and can only be detected by trained pigs and dogs. They're only available for a few months a year. So the total is $3,100. 3100 That's $3,100 for just a little more than two pounds of white truffles. When they're served in special dishes, the entrees cost from $95 to $250. 11 a.m., Chef Pierre gave me a backstage tour of the kitchen as his staff was doing final prep work for the lunch rush. What is this? What are we looking at here? It's beautiful. So that's basically it's a grilled scallops with a jumbo shrimp. So many wonderful tastes. I just have to ask you, what do you have in your refrigerator at home? Uh, nothing. Absolutely <laughs> nothing. Uh... While the kitchen staff is hard at work in the back of the house, the wait staff gets ready in the front of the house, setting the tables, putting out flowers, and answering the phone, which never seems to stop ringing, despite Le Cirque's reputation as one of the toughest reservations in town. The phone at Le Cirque is crazy, so you see it starts ringing from uh, 9 in the morning until uh, midnight. Never stops. Let's see good afternoon. What do they do when they have a packed house and at the last minute a celebrity wants a table? It is no problem. I can not tell you more than that. <laughs> but what we can tell you is that Le Cirque's reservation book reads like a who's who of New York society. Boy, oh boy. Whoop. D. Trump. Think okay. I know him. Nine. Now this goes for months in advance. Is this September into October, into, into November, the, into, into December. December? Go ahead, don't let us interrupt a patron. Exactly. I'll help you. 11.30, the first lunch guests arrive. For the next three hours, it's nonstop action. As always, owner Sirio Maccioni seems to be everywhere, checking in with the kitchen, answering the phone, and visiting with the guests. Former Secretary of State Henry Kissinger is a lunchtime regular and friend. You know, I'm trying to have them buy the restaurant. <laughs> 2.30. The last of the crowd leaves. Things seem to slow down, but in the kitchen, it's heating up all over again. Dinner is just three hours away. And that means another 300 meals must be prepared. At La Cirque, Dinner is a culinary three-ring circus. Executive chef Pierre Shadelin and his staff have been working all day on dishes for patrons who made reservations weeks, perhaps months in advance. With Le Cirque's reputation hanging on every entree, expectations are high, and so is the pressure. Dinner service starts at 5.30 and may not end until 2 in the morning. For the next eight hours, they'll serve hundreds of appetizers, entrees, and desserts. In the kitchen, the work is fast, furious, and hot. I think the most stressful time will be the final preparation, making sure that the, the garnishes are right, the sauces uh, are flavorful, the foods are cooked properly, and that everything falls into place at the right time, like pieces of a puzzle. Everything has to be perfect, so Chef Pierre inspects every dish that's served. Out on the floor, the serving staff is also feeling the heat, running a mini marathon every night. You have to be like an athlete to work here. You have to be in shape, and uh, we have to change shoes. Every three months, I have to change shoes. Around 9 o'clock at night, Everybody is at their main course. People want to pay. People get desserts. The waiters get a little tired at that time of the day. You have to be extra careful. But sitting out in front, I realized it all appears effortless. Like a good high wire act, they pulled it off again, just as they do night after night after night, behind closed doors at New York's legendary Le Cirque restaurant.